folks, this is Margie Roy at 3dcuts.com and today we are going to be doing the tutorial for my Stacked Daisy Shadow Box. Be sure to check out my website tutorial before you start cutting. There is important additional information there like the supplies I use, where I get them, and the sizes of the individual pieces. The address is shown on the screen. This is an elegant shadow box that has been designed to go with a purchased shadow box frame. This is one that I've gotten from Amazon. It's a Darice uh, shadow box. It's listed, I believe, as an eight by eight, uh, but when I measure it, it is eight and three quarters by eight and three quarters. You should do these measurements on your own shadow box before you start cutting to make sure that your inside pieces will fit. When I take the back off of this one, the inside is eight by eight, but inside is a collar, and the inside of that, let me take that out, the inside of the collar is about seven and nine sixteenths by seven and nine sixteenths. I have cut my stack of files to fit inside of that. You need to measure your frame to make sure that yours will also fit inside your, your shadow box. The file comes all stacked together so you can group it all and reduce proportionally or expand proportionally just by a little bit to fit your frame. You would then ungroup the file and separate it out into each of its layers to cut them one at a time. For this shadow box, I believe there are eight green layers and eight white layers plus the yellow layers. So there's a lot of cutting for this shadow box. Okay, I'm going to start from the back to the front. I've stacked them up here so that I can see how they uh, appear. The one furthest to the back has the points that go all the way into the center. That's where I'll start. Notice there is a little notch. I'm having it in the upper uh, right-hand corner of this. Every one of these squares has that notch. And I wanna make sure that it's always in the same corner. It doesn't matter which corner it is, but you always want it in the same corner to make sure you're doing your pieces properly. I will take the uh, first piece, put it down, take the second piece and flip it over, and then start adding the tabs to it. I put my foam dots onto the back of this one. Now, I've gotten some foam dots from Amazon. I am going to put a half inch one in each corner. These are 16th of an inch thick. Don't use the eighth inch thick ones. There'll be too much space between them. And then on each of these points, I'm going to put one of the quarter inch ones. I'm not going to go way out at the tip because I don't want the white to show through on the front. Then we will peel the backings. Missed one there. Now, alignment on these is very important. I will pick them both up and tap them down so that the bottoms are aligned. I am making sure my notch is here and I will gently touch them side to side so that they are aligned side to side. When I've got the alignment right, I'll then gently squeeze a couple of these and take a look. Okay, I've got the first one done. Now we'll take the second one. and Let's add some foam dots in the same location. Half inch ones in each corner. and quarter inch ones on every point. Peel them all. And 
now carefully line these up, making sure your corners with the notch match. I'm just gonna sort of place it there and then I'm gonna pick it up and tap it down into place. The bottoms will line up automatically and I just pay attention to the two sides there. If you don't press them, you get a chance to pull them out and reattach in order to get your placement correct. These walls should be smooth. These should be staggered. Getting a little twist in there and I don't want that. Okay, now I've got it in place. So now I will gently press where the pop dots are. Okay, move that one to the side and let's go to the next layer. I'm going to finish these other four layers and put it on high speed. The steps are the same for all of them. And there is the last green layer. All eight layers are now stacked together. We'll put those to the side and start working on the white daisies. Here are the white daisies. I am again going to start with the back daisy. It is the largest. We'll start with that. The second, oh, on the daisies, there is a very tiny little dot at about two o'clock on the daisies. You want to make sure that you line those up. It's a little clue to keep things aligned. So I'm going to take the second layer here and on this one I am going to put a quarter inch foam dot on each of these tips and a few in the center. Lost my quarter inch foam dots. I should have put them on the back of the smaller one. I've done okay and I'll continue around, but on the rest, I'll put them on the back of this side. That was a mistake. And maybe three here in the center. Peel all of those. Now, look for the little dot. I'm going to put it at 12 o'clock because that'll be easier for me. Find the dot on this one, put it at 12 o'clock. I'm going to look at the center first and the two centers should be centered around each other. But as I come out, these points should all be right in the center of a petal. You might have to twist it a little to get it where it is even and then I'm going to press each of my pop dots in place. There's layer one, Press, push that to the side and take the next one. Add pop dots. And this time I'll put them on the smaller of the two daisies. Should have done that in the first one. Three in the center. Okay, get my little dot at 12 o'clock. 
find the little dot on this one, put it to 12 o'clock, line up my centers, check out my points, and carefully press into place. All eight layers of the daisies are done exactly the same way. So I'm going to go into high speed mode again so that uh, you can watch me do it. You can shut off the camera and go do yours. Let's go to it. Okay, the white layers are now all together. We'll take a quick look at them inside the green. Oh, isn't that going to be wonderful? Okay, this yellow, find the notch that's out of it, is going to be glued into this location here. It exactly matches some of the green areas and then leaves a margin on some of the others. This one gets added next. Okay, again, we look for our little notch. It matches up the other, with the other notch. We get our corners all lined up. And when you've got as close to perfect placement as you can do, you again carefully press it into place. Okay, we now need a piece of white cardstock that is the same dimension as this. On mine, that's seven and a half by seven and a half. I'm going to cut that on my paper cutter. That'll be the back layer that holds everything together. The white daisy will go in the center, but behind it will be this yellow piece. I am going to turn this over. I'm going to put glue on here and glue that right to the back here. I'm using art glitter glue. There's no glitter in it. It dries clear. It is my liquid glue of choice. That goes onto the back here. I am now going to put glue on the back side of this, out each point. Both art glitter glue and this container that I have put them into, I get from Amazon. I have put links on my website. I especially like the control that I have with this little uh, dispenser here. Line up the corners, press in place in areas where you can press. The daisy is going to get positioned right in there like so. Isn't that a beautiful play of shadows? Again, use the art glitter glue to adhere it to the back layer. Okay. This should fit in any one of these slots. So, and you want to center it as best you can, press it into place, and let it dry. Once it's dry, take your frame, make sure you have washed and dried the uh, glass before you put this into it. The collar will go in. This gets placed inside. Now, if your stack is not 
um, thick enough because of the thickness of these, you can add a piece of cardboard. Mine is just a little bit too thick, so that should be fine. I'll put the back back in place here. Press these over. And let's take a look. Isn't that wonderful? Look at those gorgeous shadows. I'm going to go hang that up right now. Thanks for watching everyone and have fun crafting.